Hey everyone, um, I just haven't made a video in God knows how long and I just have a small amount of stuff sitting around here so I figured, what the heck, this is, like I have a little bit of a Long Beach Comic Con haul, rarely do I actually find anything at these conventions, I mean, if you're a California resident, a lot of these dealers go from show to show to show to show to show, so you kind of see the same people and you kind of get to know what they'll have and their expectations as far as their pricing and a lot of these dealers bring things simply to show and take back is the kind of the theory I have on them. Um, and the one dealer who I ended up buying these Aquaman comics from, I didn't really expect much of a discount, uh, though I'm kind of like the dealer's dealer. So every time I go to a show, before the show door opens, a lot of dealers come to my booth, ravage it like a meat in the water and a bunch of piranhas or locusts on the field, and it's like, Literally, there's like I've had dealers escort me to my booth before I've even set up because they know they're going to get ridiculously low pricing in their eyes compared to what they're selling it for. Like, I had a dealer pick up a Suicide Squad one off of me for I want to say it was you know thirty dollars, and back at his booth it was then one hundred and twenty-five. And the markup I've seen on some of this stuff is ridiculous. I had a, an annual with Thanos on the cover. An Avengers annual, I don't remember the number, I want to say it's six, and I think we sell it like for 15 or $20, and it's like $80 at every other booth. Yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. I don't even understand, like, I understand like a little bit of markup and people wanting higher expectations, but some of the prices, I'm just, I, I have no idea how they can justify what they're asking. Anyway, <clears throat> I saw this at this guy's booth, you know, it's first appearance of uh, Black Mana here. And he had it for $95, and it's, overall, it's really clean. And I thought, even for $95, you know, that's pretty good. I went I went home that night, I saw it on a Saturday, I went home, looked it up on eBay, saw in lesser conditions, they were going for like 150 I have a copy of this, it's kind of shoddy, but I'm like, eh, that's a pretty good deal for 95 bucks. So, he had this, an Aquaman 16, so I made myself a little list of what Aquamans I was missing thought this one was a pretty vibrant cover too, you know, it's good condition for an old number. 14. I thought I had this, and I might, but it's just such a good cover. It was only 15 bucks. I'm like, you can't go wrong with that. Number 42. Got the wedding issue, number 18. And I grabbed a, a Batman book, the first ventriloquist with the Mike Magnola cover, and the whole pile added up to $180. And mind you, this is one of the dealers who's I've dealt with in the past. <clears throat> My experience is when I go to, rarely do I go actually buy anything from a dealer, but when I do go to them, the discount they give me is a little laughable compared to what I've given them. I had one dealer who I've been selling to for years, who I went to his booth and I bought the first appearance of the Adam and the first appearance of uh, Batwoman, or Bat, Batgirl, sorry. And he knocked off 11% of like a $675 purchase. So that became my rule of thumb with that guy. I'm like, okay, 11% is what we're going to do. But anyway, this guy, who I'm, I thought was pretty tight on his finances, like not really difficult to deal with. So it's 180 bucks, and I said, here it is, 180 bucks. And I didn't, didn't ask for anything, and I just saw what he would do. And he gave it to me for 80 bucks. So I thought that was pretty good, considering this one alone was 95 And I'm like... So I guess all my years of interacting with these guys has paid off a little bit. It's kind of nice that it was reciprocated. I'm happy to get the Aquamans. Um, just a couple other little things here. I uh, bought this guy, uh, the Arkham Knight figure. You know, I don't know if you played the game on there online. It's it's a very beautiful game. The you know surprise twist with this character is not very surprising, but. I'm into the action figures. Um, we almost got most of the store remodeled, and once that's done, I'm planning on going through my garage and pretty much emptying it out and bringing it to the shop, and I want to display all the figures and statues and stuff, so I'll definitely show that when that happens. Um, did find a few things just lurking around the back of the store, you know, in the final cleaning processes. So I found this. It's original artwork by Jim Obar, sign on the bottom there from 1989. He's the, the crow artist. Um, there was some, I found an Art Adams print back there. Unfortunately, it was damaged, and a Dave Steven print, and that was damaged, and they were both signed. But it is what it is. Um, found this sitting back there, too. 
uh, Yosagi Ojimbo uh, by Stan Sakai, 1986. And then this one I thought was kind of funny. <clears throat> See if you can even tell me who drew this. Nope, don't recognize it. Rob Lightfield, 1986. It's funny, it's a very different style than what he became famous for later. And um, he actually comes into the shop on occasion, and I showed this to him, and he's, oh, is that an original? I'm like, yeah, you know, it's you know one of yours. And he used to work there a long, long time ago when I shopped there. And, and funny story, like, I went in there, and he was working, and, well, he was drawing his stuff while at the counter. And um, <clears throat> I was a young kid. You know, I biked over there from God knows where, and when I went out of the store, my, my bike was stolen. So... Uh, there's that. Then I was going to show just a couple new things. Rarely do I get a chance to actually read anything, but I did start reading this storyline. Uh, Robin, son of Batman. Um, it's basically a story where Robin goes on a redemption quest. I guess there was a time in his life when he was, during one year, he had this trial of blood for a year thing. And in there, you know, he did all these wrongs, and now he's trying to redeem them. And, and I enjoy the art, and the story's okay so far. At the last page of this, I thought was kind of cool. He's opening this submarine to where uh, everything he has to right his wrongs are. And here, in this corner, there's like a Green Lantern ring. So I'm like, that's kind of cool. Like, you don't know what's, like, how he defeated a Green Lantern at age nine or whatever, but we'll find out. Anyway, it's on issue four. Here's just the covers of them, if in case anyone cares. There's number two. Three, and I haven't read four yet. I do like the cover a whole lot, though. The Deathstroke and Robin fighting it out there. I will say, from issue one to issue two, the pace picked up really quick. I mean, they just immediately tied a, a bow on some of the story to move it along. But you know, if I, since I don't read very much, I'm I'm going to stick with this for a while. I thought it was pretty good. Then I was going to point out one more book, <laughs> silly as this may seem. I picked this up. I have a newborn daughter. You know, she's seven months old now. So I bought this Vader's Little Princess. They do have one that's also, um, I don't remember what the title, but it's the Luke Skywalker one, obviously. And if you haven't looked at these, and if you have a young child, these are actually quite funny. <laughs> like, uh, here's just one of the skits on the back. So, I don't know, I definitely thought, like, if you're a Star Wars enthusiast or uh, just like the humor, it's a good book. There's a little statue that's out I saw on eBay with this, too, where she's cutting hearts in the back of his cape, which I thought I'd get for my, my daughter. But then I'm thinking, well, it's more like a gift your daughter gives the father. So skipped on that. But anyway, there's just a hodgepodge of stuff I wanted to show off. Uh, anyway, happy to be uh, back online just doing a quick post. Uh, everyone, I hope uh, you're doing well and finding what you're looking for. Take care, guys. I will talk to you soon.